Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this video, which is the first in our seven part tutorial series on how to use Google Docs. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started with Google Docs, and then show you how to collaborate with others on your documents. To get started, navigate to Google Docs. There'll be a link in the description. Now we're here, we're going to create a blank document. To do that, simply select blank. And as you can see, we now have a new document. We can rename our document by coming to this untitled document section in the top left hand side of your screen. Click on it and then enter a name for your document. When you're done, press enter. Google Docs has now saved our document for us with the name My Document. If we go back to the Google Docs homepage, we can now see our document here. To open a document that you've been working on previously, simply select it under your recent documents or navigate to the directory you've saved it under. Now let's look at how we can download our document. To download your document, come to File, and then come to Download. You can see there are several different options for downloading your document. You can download it in Microsoft Word format. You could download it in Open Document format if you plan to work on this document in open source software such as OpenOffice or LibreOffice. You could download it as a PDF, or you can download it in plain text. You can print your document, again by coming to File, and then selecting Print. Now let's look at collaboration. Google Docs is an excellent tool if you want to work with multiple people on the same document. You can invite people to collaborate on your document by coming to this Share button in the top right hand corner of your screen. If you want to invite a specific person, enter their email address here. You can select their permissions. You can make them a viewer, where they can only see the document. A commenter, where they can see and comment on the document. Or an editor, where they can see the document, comment on it, and make changes. If you're going to notify them by email, you can include a custom message here and then click send. That person has now been added. There's a second way of sharing this document with people, which is by just sending them a link to it. Again, start by coming to share and then come to this link section. Initially, only people who we've added to the document will be able to edit it. We can change this to anybody with the link. Now, Anybody with the link can be a viewer of the document. We can change this to be a commenter or editor in the same way as we did before. If you no longer want anybody with the link to be able to edit your document, come back to here and change it back to restricted. Once you set the permissions appropriately, you can copy the link and send it to whoever you choose. Finally, click done. Finally, we're going to look at how to comment on a document. When you have the document, select a section that you want to add a comment to. You've now got a few options. This icon will appear. Click on it to add a comment. And then click comment. As you can see, we've now added a comment. You can also highlight a selection of text and then come up to add a comment. Again, we've added a comment. That's all we've got to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Also, make sure you check out the rest of the tutorials in this tutorial series. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.